Crowd estimates on this lovely day on Mission Bay in San Diego up around 100,000. They were expecting about 70, so it's been a great, great, pleasant surprise for everyone here. Out go the boats. There's the Bahia with no tail and a patched up job on that nose, and you see the Budweiser. Let's go back about five months. The debut of the Budweiser, when it suddenly blew over while testing on Lake Washington. Amazing how far this boat has gone in the last five months, winning five of seven races in 87. And now today, in San Diego, Croftold goes after the trophy he's never pocketed, the Gold Cup. Here are the drivers now in Heat 2B. First of all, George Woods, driving for Jim Harvey, the Oboy Alberto, based in Seattle. Ron Snyder, driving the Miss Madison, owned by the community of Madison, Indiana. From Cincinnati he came, that's Jim Cropfield, driver of the Miss Budweiser, National Points leader. Ron Armstrong, out of the Southern California area, driving Bob Patterson's boat, the Miss Bahia. Finally, Jerry Hopp, driving the Garrett Turbo, based out of Snohomish, Washington, north of Seattle. As you see the rundown in E2B, Jim Cropfeld and the Budweiser team definitely needing more points with only 165 so far. They gotta make the final. Normally this would be our final preliminary heat, but in the Gold Cup, you go on extra flight. We'll have heats 3A and 3B yet before we go to the final. Here comes the start. Amazing that the Budweiser is even here for this second heat, but here it comes right on the button for the start. Jim Cropfell not taking any chances. That fourth place finish, not enough points, Don. He needs to be scoring three or 400 to make the final and have a shot at the Gold Cup. He won that start. He actually took a chance on being over the line. He simply, it's incredible that they're even here after all the damage you saw, Steve. We were there. All the damage to the engine, to the cowling, to the inside. You can't see the burn marks from here, but it's uh, absolutely incredible they're here. Second place at this point is Ron Snyder out of the state of Ohio, driven that boat many years. There goes George Woods into second place. Check that. He's moving into third place now. Woods aboard the Oboy Alberto, a team based out of Seattle, as is the Budweiser. The thing that saved the Budweiser team, Don, is a rather unique application. They have the turbine, the gearbox, and most of the moving parts sitting in a big rack under that cowling. When they lifted that out, almost all of the burn damage went with it, and that's the only reason they're here right now. Plus, they had a replacement for a wing, and they are able to race. Ron Snyder holding on to second, and here comes George Woods giving chase. Jim Harvey, the owner of that bus, Seattle. He was a longtime crew chief, very successful, and now has stepped up the ladder to be an owner. Again, the Budweiser in first. There's Jerry Hopp out of Seattle in the Garrett Turbo. Again, the Budweiser. It's amazing, though, that this boat didn't suffer more wire damage in that fire, Steve. It is totally amazing that it's out here. The crew did a tremendous job of putting that thing back together. The damage was significant, and uh, you can rest assured some nurse men and women on the beach right now. There they are, fingers crossed, fingernails bitten, just hoping it stays together. Then on the left of the screen, that was Butch Cropfell. That's Jim's brother. Jim, uh, many times voted into APBA Hall of Champions, a great limited driver, Grand Prix driver. He has competed in virtually every class in hydroplane racing, Steve. And of course, he's one of the best here in the Unlimiteds. Now as the Budweiser comes by us, you see the door is missing from the opening in the cowling. It was lost during the fire, but the engine sounds fine, Don. None of that compressor is stalling yet as he comes by us. And every time we see Ron Snyder like that, we think of the good old days as he's rocking and rolling in that cockpit, moving around. He's got belts wrapping him in as you run again out of Ohio. But boy, that is the roughest ride in unlimited hydroplane racing, sitting behind that engine as he holds on in this particular heat. Budweiser in first place, trying to pick up 400 points after getting fourth place points in an earlier heat. There's your battle for third and second place. On the right is Ron Snyder in second, third place to Woods on the inside. George Woods and the old boy Alberto still one of the favorites on the day with that piston engine, but this boat right here along with Chip Hanauer, if they run like this, the piston boats are not going to catch them. Boat on the right used to be driven by Chip Hanauer. He was the Atlas Van Lines, and now, of course, belonging to Jim Harvey. But right now, that's the battle between second and third. Budweiser will pick up the first place, another 400 for Jim Krupfeld, but the race for second place, let's see who will pick it up. Looks like it'll be Woods on the inside, and the Oboy Alberto with Ron Snyder on the outside, picking up 225. And again, Don, as the Budweiser came by us, it sounded fine. No problem so far in the turbine section. 
Again, the battle. Look where Snyder is. He's on the way outside. Instead of getting up in there and trying to hug, Woods going into that turn, making him stay in that lane. Woods in great position. The shortest route around the course, obviously, is from pin to pin. And he's holding on to lane number one. Woods, a five-liter driver, also a K-boat driver. He is a rookie in 1987 in the Unlimited. As he moves past one of the slower boats, still in second place in the Budweiser, comfortably in first. Credit this one to the Budweiser crew, Don. A tremendous job of bringing this boat back from a pile of ashes. Last time down the main straightaway at 400 points await the Budweiser and Jim Crockwell out of Cincinnati. Second place and 300 points to George Woods out of Seattle. And third place, Ron Snyder and the Miss Madison 225. So about an hour ago, things weren't looking so good for the Budweiser, but somehow they come up with the repairs in time. They get the badly needed points. They are well on their way towards the final. Likewise for the Oboy Alberto, on down to the host of Miss Madison and Ron Snyder, and the Garrett Turbo with Jerry Hopp. Down to the pits. A little sigh of relief. Oh, yeah, boy, I tell you, Budweiser team really went to work that time. I've never seen those guys work that hard, but, uh, you know, I went out there and caused a little problems at first. Eight, and, uh, I didn't think they would do it, but by gosh, you know, I, well, I, I shouldn't say that. I knew they would do it. The, the Budweiser team's the greatest. And Did it run just like new? Uh, it ran perfect. Uh, it ran as good as it ran uh, when I tested the other day at 152, so I can't complain at all. Bernie, you relieved? Oh, <laughs> I think that was the final heat. Uh, uh, anyhow, yeah, we really are, and uh, we want to... Got a lot of fans here, and we want to race for them. The fans here on Mission Bay have two more preliminary heats, one more chance for each boat to get enough points to make the final. Now, if the final were to take place right now, here are your top six boats. And you'll notice on the bottom, Chip Hanauer, hoping to keep that string and the dream alive of a sixth straight, must somehow come up with some more points. He's on the bubble at this stage. 